ukeru, receptive. That's the sense of an approach. No more of an attitude for training. Some students arrive clear and receptive. Others show up closed off. Can they even be called students? Those who insist they are open are the most dangerous to themselves. Their attitude fills them up like the Zen master's teacup. Can I serve them any tea? As a training partner, I receive. In this moment, I am filled up with knowledge. Should I care that my role is to lose? I receive an attack. This is the flip side of my counter. Not a block. And after, I reverse the flow. Just enough to match that which I was given. I float here in the space. My ukemi protects me not because I am good, but simply receptive. Comfortable in my own space that belongs to everyone else too. In Bujinkan training we have a very important Japanese word that gives us a, a good attitude for training. And it's a word that's not often spoken about, or it's spoken about only in relation to specific techniques. This word is ukeru, and one definition of this word means to receive. The use of this word ukeru shows up in different places in our training. Some you're very familiar with, and some you should be familiar with. Uh, for example, uh, one word that stems from ukeru is just being an uke. It's the same root, kanji, same word, and it's uh, being an uke in training. When you're being an uke, the best way for you to be is to be receptive and receiving. So you're receiving your training partner's technique and allowing them to study the waza that we're doing in class. But at the same time, you're also receiving in a way that protects yourself. And this leads to the second term that uses the word ukeru, which is ukemi. Ukemi, the word ukemi, uh, is, means receiving. You're receiving an attack, you're receiving a throw, you're receiving a punch, and you're taking ukemi. The proper attitude to have when taking ukemi is one of being receptive. If you use this attitude when you take ukemi, you'll be safer, but you'll also be able to take ukemi that's more natural for the situation and gives you opportunities for counters. A third place where this word ukeru shows up is when you're doing an uke nagashi or a daken uke or a jodan uke. Uh, normally in English we think of these as blocks. You're blocking a punch or you're blocking a kick. But block is not really the appropriate term. The term is uh, uke, jodan uke, and like I said, this word ukeru means to receive. So you're receiving the punch, you're receiving the kick, you're receiving the attack. That's a much better way to approach uh, delivering an uke nagashi, or a jodan uke, or daken uke, or geidan uke. If you do an uke with the attitude of receiving, it gives you so many more possibilities uh, for counters or to protect yourself in the space as you're moving. But maybe the most important use of ukeru has to do with how you show up in class. Uh, you come into class and you want to have the proper attitude for training. So you should show up with an attitude of being receptive to the teaching that's going on there, to the art that's being shown. There's a famous Zen story that many of you have probably heard. This famous Zen master grew more and more famous for his teachings, and a well-known magistrate uh, came to visit him one day to receive his teachings. This magistrate was, uh, you know, he was of a high position in his country, uh, he was kind of a celebrity, and he shows up there and the, uh, the Zen master starts preparing tea for the two of them as they're having a conversation. And the magistrate starts telling the Zen master all of his education and his awards and his abilities and how much he knows about Zen and all of these things. 
And as the master is pouring his tea in his cup, the master just keeps pouring and pouring while the other guy is talking. Pretty soon the teacup starts to overflow. And the magistrate says, wait, wait, that's too much tea. Why are you pouring so much tea in there? And the Zen master says, well, like this teacup, you show up to speak to me and you're already full of yourself. You have an attitude that is full of your own knowledge. And just like this teacup, it's too full and I cannot pour any more knowledge into you. Uh, you don't leave any room for me to add anything to your your knowledge. So this is how some people show up in class. They, they show up with their teacup already full and uh, no matter who the teacher is, they're not really going to add to their knowledge any because uh, they're, you know, they're already full of what they think they know.